Rangers had uh, more possession. Eintracht Frankfurt had the better chance, or chances if you want to stretch it at that, in a tactically intriguing first half. It's half time. We'll be back with the first half highlights after these. This program was brought to you by Enterprise Rent a Car. Home or away, take it on with Enterprise Rent a Car. It's Tools Hardware Supplies All May Love Event. The biggest restock on our best selling tiles for the entire month of May. Outdoor tiles, rough tiles, ceramic glossy tiles, and statement wall tiles. Plus porcelain flooring at the lowest prices island wide. Seven, seven, seven galore. So come visit us at 279 Spanish Town Road, 4 South Camp Road, 8 Red Hills Road, or online at toolsja.com. Tools! The Lion King of Heart we have all endured the wait for two years. I know you're Philippe. Now, our time is here for the masquerade. The sweet sounds of steel. A showcase of Kaiso and energy like no other at Sokomanon. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Carnival 2022. June 24th to July 5th. Vinci Mass. Take the ice again. So we had a large helping of extra time played at the end of the first 45 minutes due to the head injury sustained by Sebastian Roda, a wound that needed treatment. And yeah, the referee added the time back at the end of the first 45. A first 45 that was not, uh, you know, edge of your seat thrilling, but it was tactically intriguing. And both teams would have seen passages of the first half where they felt they were playing good football, all in all, nil-nil at the end. And we go to the highlights in the 11th minute. The Japanese international Kamada trying to find work a shooting angle and weaves through a couple of players but he's crowded out in the end the clearance not the most efficient and in the end the shot a straight at McGregor he was able to make a comfortable save from Salve's effort then in the 20th minute Eintracht Frankfurt came again the fast one on the right Knauf in space will look to cut in on the left foot does so in the 18-yard box and he really felt he should have produced a better finish from this ang angle although it did require a save of McGregor. He touched it around the post. Uh, not sure that was going uh, into his net anyway. Then in the 26th minute, Rangers with this attempt, a curling effort uh, from outside of the 18-yard box. Minute 29 and a very good defensive intervention here because there was a man on the back post waiting to turn that home. And then this volleyed effort uh, blocked before it got to McGregor and Rangers surviving there as well. This in the 30th minute. They would come again and track Frankfurt. This long searching ball out to the right. Poor defensive header. And on the volley, very enterprising that effort. Sailing high. 32nd minute, Rangers. What did they have to say for themselves? The Vernier with the header. Onto the chest of this man. And he's gone. Looks for the support to his left. He has three men in white, but are they in the right positions? Kostic looking for the pass. Goes for the shot instead. And in the end, nothing for McGregor to worry about. 
36th minute and then this header uh, the only save required of the uh, Eintracht Frankfurt goalkeeper Kevin Trapp and that was pretty much it from uh, an attacking perspective I started with you Eric the uh, tactical approach from both teams in that first half uh, well, the commentator said Eintracht Frankfurt managed to impose their game on Rangers more than Rangers was able to impose theirs on the German teams do you do German team do you agree yeah I have to agree with that I mean we spoke about some parts before uh, the game and I think when we look at Kostic and Knauf both in the wide areas from Frankfurt danger has been coming from there we've seen it in the highlights uh, when we look at Rangers now um, they have not really gotten many clear shots I don't think they have gotten Tavernier um, or Ryan Kent they're two danger players really in the game they do get them in the game, but they're not being able to beat a player, come behind the defensive yes. line and create danger. While we look at Kostic and Knauf, who are giving more of their, their danger to, to the Rangers. So um, I would agree, Frankfurt tactical plan is, is going better and Rangers have something to discuss in the halftime. Yeah. Simon, you had misgivings about the lineup that was fielded by Giovanni van Bronckhorst, the men he uh, tasked with getting the goals and creating. And I would say that you were proven right over the first 45 minutes because the Rangers didn't really carry an attacking threat for much of that first 45 of those first 45, 45, first 45 minutes. No, Joe Rebo isn't a natural number nine. He's played in that number nine position. That's that's his, not his his normal role. He's more of an attacking midfielder who likes to run onto the ball. Um, and and you can tell that sometimes some of the runs he's making aren't quite right. Um, you know, he needs to to be able to hold onto the ball a little bit more. He seems to want to move it very quickly. Um, whereas he needs to try and bring in some of his runners to get some support to him. So it's not quite working that. As I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if they switch that around the hour mark, especially when they have uh, attacking options on the bench. Brent, the battle that we expected to take up much of the attention of us analysts, the tavernier Kostic battle, uh, the Eintracht Frankfurt man is winning that battle, although he hasn't managed to set up a goal or to score one himself just yet. Yeah, the, I would give a slight edge uh, in the battle so far. I think I'm a bit surprised to see how much nerves have impacted this, this game. It, it certainly uh, has meant that the quality that we expected by both teams uh, have not come to the floor thus far. Uh, that being said, I think as both, uh, uh, both and, and all of us would have mentioned, I think Frankfurt would be the happier team. But it's a, it's a game that's really lacked quality. And I think that's, that's what really sums up the half. And, and I want to suspect that nerves is playing a major part in the final so far. Would you agree, Eric, that we've seen the Road Rangers in this game so far, rather than the Ibrox Rangers? We spoke about that before the game started. Um, I, th I think going into a final, even knowing the, the different styles that Rangers, I think they did it on purpose, where they say, let's, let's go a little bit more cautious yes. into this game. Um, even I think the choice to, to start with Aribo is one that, that attested that. They say, all right, let us start kind of more conservative, as we know. Um, I expect them to maybe bring in Aaron Ramsey to get some more creative in there, maybe bring in Roof so we have more of a striker um, that we see on the field. Um, but yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, Simon Knauf on the right has had the space for Eintracht Frankfurt, hasn't quite gotten it right just yet. Do, what do Rangers need to do to adjust uh, to the impact he's had on the game? Do they need more help on that side of their defense when he picks up possession? Well, I think so much of it is focused on the other side, isn't it? Um, <laughs> that, that, that's sort of inevitable that Knauf would get a little bit more of, of the ball and he, and he can be dangerous. He, you're right, he hasn't used those opportunities uh, very well. And I also feel like Rangers midfield haven't really been pressing the way. You know, that's the big difference between them playing at home and away. The home games at Ibrox, they're on to their opponents straight away, roared on by that crowd. They've not been doing that. And I think part of that is because they've sort of sat back a little bit and said, OK, Come and show us what you've got. And I expect to see them a little bit more dynamic in, in their pressing in the second half. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because my question to Brent is this. Brent, if in a major cup final, one that can be the defining moment for your football club, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst has that pressure on his shoulders. If he was conservative in the first half, Brent, and he kept a clean sheet being conservative, what's to suggest that he won't be conservative in the second half and try to pinch this game maybe in extra time or maybe in penalties if he's thinking that far ahead? I think, be, I think his decisions would be, of course, uh, dictated by the first 15 minutes or so, the ebbs and flow of the football game. Whether or not he believes that Rangers are starting to get a little bit more of a front foot or, or get a more of a stranglehold in, in the game, and then he can bring on the likes of 
of Ramsey and maybe Roof. Uh, you know, they've, they've, they've looked relatively comfortable uh, defending Frankfurt. Uh, but at some point, this is a final, as you rightfully say, and, and you, you enter and play in a final to win it. Uh, and at some point, uh, Van Broncos will have to make that change uh, to impact the football game. And the change would have to be an offensive one. Uh, so that may change the dynamic. And, and it's be interesting to see when he does. As I said, the first 10 or 15 minutes or so would dictate how he goes about the rest uh, of the 90 minutes. Eric, if you're, if, you're, if you're Glasner, the Eintracht Frankfurt coach, what would you say to your two danger men on both flanks, uh, uh, Kostic and Knauf, who both have the beating of their defenders for pace, especially Knauf on the right-hand side? It hasn't happened so far. Do you ask them to do anything differently? Do you ask them to switch or do you ask them to continue plugging away? The chance will come. I think there's, a, there's been a few moments that, um, you know, we see Lindstrom from Glasgow drop into the right back position and then Tavernier goes all the way up. Um, there's been moments in transition where the opportunity has been there for Kostic to kind of use that. Um, and I think if they continue to do that, even knowing that the fatigue will kick in, here we're going to see it. Um, where their space is right there, you even see the glass, the Rangers defender point there. Ball doesn't reach there, but there is that opportunity there to use that. So I think they will continue what they've been doing. It will be a, a battle of athleticism. Um, to hear a moment, we see Lindstrom with the um, um, orange boots. He drops out to that right back position, which allows then the right back to move up higher. Um, but they have not been able to use that and actually get the ball up the field. Even as you see it here, Frankfurt defends it well, which forces then a ball towards the middle. Now, in transition, that same space, that, that's where the danger lies. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think they should continue with that um, and, and just exploit it better once they get behind the defensive line. Yeah, the Japanese forward, Simon Kamada for Eintracht Frankfurt, he's been on the fringes of the game. Uh, I mean, a player, can, a player couldn't choose a worse game to have an off day than a big cup final. Uh, how does Glasner and company get the Japanese international involved in the attack as they've done successfully in the games prior to this big one yeah i think they'll be hoping that space opens up throughout the second half as maybe rangers commit a little bit more but he's looked a little bit he hasn't actually looked really nervous um, a few times when he's been on the ball he's looked he's looked very hesitant even that opportunity where he went through uh, and the goalkeeper mcgregor's come out at his feet he didn't really convince that he knew exactly what he wanted to do so i think maybe the occasion get into a few players uh, and he's certainly one of them uh, Brent, in 30 seconds, the nerves in the, in the first half that you spoke about. As a captain, what do you say to your team going out for the second half? Well, be brave. That's why we're here. You, you have to be brave. You have to play in, in, in the right areas. You have to be courageous. I think the team that uh, shows uh, that uh, ability to be courageous and, and, and take the game by the scruff of the neck will eventually win this final. All right, gentlemen, thank you. That's all the time we have. Let's go back across to our commentators over there in Seville, Eintracht Frankfurt, Rangers, the Europa League final for 2020, 2021, 2022. This program is brought to you by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Home or away, take it on with Enterprise Rent-A-Car.